and welcome back to my channel so to in today's video I will be talking about skincare and I do a lot of skincare videos because I have a lot of acne and I suffer from cystic acne I found routines that have helped me avoid these breakouts or keep them under control when I get them I recently suffered from a very bad breakout around my birthday I had two rashes on my cheeks and I had cystic acne on my forehead and at the sides of my face there's still acne at the sides of my face, but it's going down. And this acne is very painful. It's red. It's annoying. It's underneath the skin, so you can't even get to it. If you pop it, it leaves a scar. I popped this one right here, and it left a scar. I'm so mad. But I know how to get rid of this. Like, I just have to do a facial peel to get rid of that black mark. So I just want to show you guys how I get rid of my acne because I know a lot of youtubers on here have perfect skin and everybody wants to know how to get perfect skin but the truth is it's a lot of work it's a lot of maintenance and sometimes your skin just isn't like perfect like nobody's perfect some people have oily skin some people have acne prone skin like I do and we just have to deal with it and learn how to work with our skin and love our skin so the first product that I have been using these days this um this routine is going to be mostly organic and natural products because I'm trying to stay away from like harsh products that are going to mess with my skin tone and all of that stuff because I already have discoloration on my forehead and at the sides of my face as you guys can see. So I don't want to mess with my skin tone any more than it is. So I'm trying to go natural. So the first product, so the first product that I use is African Black Soap. And African Black Soap looks just like this. And it's a natural product. It smells super good. There's so many benefits of African black soap. So African black soap can act as a toner. It is a very gentle wash because it is a natural, which is perfect for my skin because it is very sensitive. It is said to reduce um, redness, rosacea, dark spots, all of the things that I have and that I need to get rid of. So that's why I started using African black soap. And I really love it. So I'm going to show you guys. First, I start cleansing my face with it. And what you want to do is you just want to cut off a little piece of the black soap because if you leave it in water, it will dissolve. So that's a downfall, but like you just have to be really careful with it. So what I would do is I'll like break off a little chunk like this and then I'll saturate it in water. Saturate it in water. I'll rub it between my hands and then I'll put it all over my face and it's like a super cleansing wash. I love it. And I like to just work this into my skin, especially if I'm taking off makeup. And I also have the little cube at the back of my finger and I'm rubbing it on for my skin. And for the cleansing part of my routine, I always use warm water. See, and it just hydrates the skin and makes it look smooth and luscious. Like I think it lo already looks nicer than just now because it's moisturized. So the next step that I do after that is if I'm going to apply a mask, I'll go ahead and apply a mask. And the mask that I've been using is using this all natural mask. It's a Medina facial clay mask. And what you do is you put it all over your skin and you're, it's supposed to firm, refine, and condition the skin. So I'm just going to put that all over my skin right now. And I'm just going to use my fingers. I know a lot of people like to use tools and stuff like that, but I'm simple. And a little of this mask goes a very long way. And this is also all natural and super gentle. It smells like green apple. It's yummy. And it also burns a little bit, so don't be scared. But I love when my products burn because it makes me feel like it's working, honestly. I'm like, okay, it's getting in the pores. It's doing something for me. And also you want to bring your mask down to your neck because I also get acne on my neck, guys. Like, oh, acne prone skin. So annoying. And now I'm just going to let this mask sit here for 10 minutes and I'll be back and show you guys the rest of the natural products that I use and what I do. Okay, so next I just take a towel that I've soaked in hot water and I just put it on my face, kind of like to steam my face. And I leave it there for a couple minutes and then I just wipe off the mask. And don't forget to wipe it off from your neck as well. So now your skin is looking super healthy and radiant and moisturized. 
So now this next part is kind of gross, but trust me, it really helps me because since I get cystic acne, I also get a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of rock whiteheads. So I purchased this tool on Amazon, and it's a whitehead extractor. So I'm going to go in and remove my whiteheads, and I'm going to zoom up for you guys. If you're squeamish, just skip this part. I pull the skin taut, and I just press the whitehead remover and remove whiteheads. This last night, so you guys probably aren't gonna see anything too gross, but I just take out the whiteheads and see it, but I got stuff out, and I'll just do that to all the acne areas on my skin, including my forehead. I have one right here in my brow. I go ahead and remove my whiteheads I go in with this apricot scrub and this is for smooth healthy skin 100% organic and it says use warm water lather onto skin in gentle circular motions and rinse so I just put it in circular motion exfoliate my skin So now that I've washed off my scrub, I take my Mario Badescu Facial Spray at Toner. And this is the facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water because I absolutely love rose water for my skin. It does wonders for my skin. And I just spray my face. And while my face is still wet, I use tea tree oil and I put that on all of my acne scars on my trouble areas and my nose. So this is just all natural tea tree oil that you can get from the drugstore, any organic stores. You can get it from Amazon if you can't, if you don't have a drugstore near you. And it's important to just take a little bit and just dot it on your skin. If you're gonna take a lot, um, I recommend that you dilute it with water, but I'm used to just knowing how much to put so that it doesn't burn me because trust me, it can burn the skin if you put too much it for my skin routine I just let my skin naturally dry out and then I'll put on lotion and apply makeup if I'm going to usually I don't wear makeup on a regular everyday basis and if I do I'll use like my skin tint from NARS so that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that this helped you learn how to get rid of acne the natural way because we don't always want to be putting these harsh chemicals on our skin when there are natural solutions that can help us get rid of our acne just as well so lastly, I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for watching my videos. I'm so appreciative towards all of my subscribers. I've noticed a big jump in my subscriber counts, and I'm so happy and grateful. Keep joining the joint. Keep joining the Glammy family. You won't regret it. There's so much fun on this channel from makeup to tech to skincare and fashion and even the occasional vlog. You don't want to miss it. So just hit that subscribe button right there and that notification bell. Bye Glammies.